man. The anthropologist John Hawkes. Like somebody, I can't remember whose work I read this in. Maybe yours. Maybe yours. Anyway. Yeah, probably not mine. <laughs> John Hawkes is an anthropologist, and he argues that about two million years ago, our genus, Homo, just appears. Quoting Hawkes, no gradual series of changes in earlier Australopithecine populations clearly leads to the new species, and no Australopithecine species is obviously transitional. Close quote. Well, we don't seem to have descended from apes. Or at least if we did, it ain't in the fossil record. What does that tell us? It's one thing to say, well, where did the dinosaurs come from? But we have this notion from textbooks in school on, humankind arising from We've all seen the artwork, artwork right? All, all yeah. seen the artwork. <laughs> so what does this tell us? Well, it's another example of an abrupt appearance of uh, morphological innovation in, in the history of life. Um, there, and there are two such um, big bursts of innovation in the history of mankind. The first is the sudden emergence of the genus Homo. The second is what's sometimes called the cultural Big Bang, the evidence of higher cognitive capabilities that occurred within the last roughly 40,000 years. Homo is two million years ago. Right, you get Homo erectus, but uh, in, in the last- Homo 40, would include Neanderthal and- Sure, you, okay. yeah, but within the last 40,000 years, you get the first agriculture, you get the first cities, you get the first written language, you get the uh, first representational art. Um, and so there is, this is another big bang of innovation. Suddenly this, uh, the, the cultural revolution is, uh, also occurs very suddenly.